when Utterson spoke to the doctor of his ill looks, Lanyon declared himself to be a man at death's door. I am a doctor, he said, and his voice had lost its old certainty and firmness, and I know that my days are numbered. Jekyll is ill too, said Utterson. Have you seen him? Lanyon's face changed. He grew as white as paper, and that look of terror became very clear to see. He held up a hand that trembled. I don't wish to hear any more of Dr. Jekyll, he said. I am quite finished with him, and I beg that you will not mention his name in this house. As far as I am concerned, he is dead already, and better forgotten, said Utterson, astonished. And then, after a long pause, Isn't there anything I can do? he asked. We are three very old friends, Lanyon, and we're too old to make new ones. I will never see him again, said Lanyon. He knows that, and he knows why. Why don't you ask him? He won't see me, replied the lawyer. I am not surprised, said Lanyon. Some day, after I am dead, you may perhaps come to learn the right and wrong of this. I can't tell you now. But in the meantime, if you can sit and talk to me of other things, for God's sake, do so. If you must speak of Jekyll, however, then in God's name go, for I cannot bear it. As soon as he got home, Utterson sat down and wrote to Jekyll, complaining of the way his door had been shut against him, and asking the cause of this unhappy break with Lanyon. The next day brought him a long answer that did nothing to throw light on the mystery. The quarrel with Lanyon, it seemed, was something which no one could cure.